There was plenty of work for everyone back then in World War II. Those old Mississippi woods vibes were full of pine stumps, and Leston and his men would blast them out to be turned into turpentine for the war. So long, Miss Jewel. You take care now. You take care. You won't be late. All right, Nelson. You and your boys pick up yesterday's stumps and come and join us. Yes, Mr. Come on. Come on, man. Okay, we're done. Come on, boys, let's go. Cathedral and me, we'd feed them, send them off to work. Every day the same. My wise best friend, Cathedral. Midwifed all my babies, knew me inside out. I got a pick this morning. You all right? I'm fine. I'm so feed the youngest. My name is Jewel Hilburn. This is a story about my family and about something that happened to change us forever. I guess it's a story about loving and letting go. Here they go again. Bert, stop tormenting your brother. Well, man. What's the matter with you two of you? Every single morning. Put your napkins in your lap. Every single morning. Every morning. Like Cain and Abel. Here comes little Lanny Fanny with a stop stinky old blanket. <laughs> well, you yeah. speak of <laughs> You know him well. Oh, children be children. You were the same when you was little. I was not. Oh, yes, you was. I got a good memory. I got a good memory. You said so yourself. Uh -uh. God bless you with a good streak of mischief. Uh -uh. Bert, give her a blanket back. I I've got it, Mom. Raylene! I'm not going to call you no more this morning for your breakfast. I said I was coming. You know, no way a woman can ever get enough sleep in this place. Who's a woman? Burton, you're terrible. You're terrible. Oh, I know you will. Children will be children. Oh. Dear Lord, hear our prayer. We give thanks for the many blessings you've bestowed upon us. We ask you to bless this food for the nourishment of our bodies. Amen. 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 All right. How's your day? Almost, Almost forgot. Almost forgot. Dear Lord, please take good care of the new life that's within Mama. Amen. <laughs> Y'all kidding, right? Oh my Lord, what am I supposed to tell my friends at school? Huh? Hey, y'all, guess what? My mama's having yet another baby. Yes, you are. And you watch your tongue, young lady. Now pass me those jumps. Yes, sir. A baby. A baby. There's too many of them here already. The only baby I know is sitting right there. Stop, stop, stop. Woman. Don't you worry. You're my baby girl. Mama's always going to be here to take care of you. You know that?
Burton. Burton. Uh, What's wrong, Mama? Baby's coming. He, oh, he run to Cathedral's house and said, and go on into the woods. Get your daddy. Oh. oh. Slept the whole day, you and she both. It was a mighty tough time you had. How are the children? They're fine. He sent you those. They're pretty. I made you something too. Oh, Lester. <laughs> Dogwood. I picked it up on the ground. Knew I could make something of it. Every time he called me something special. <laughs> well, we need a name for this baby. She has a whole life in front of her. And one day's already gone. Isn't that right? That's right. How about Brenda Kay? After your big sister. Yeah. She died giving child. Brenda Kay. I like it. Brenda Kay, it is. I like that. <laughs> Don't you? Hello, Brenda Kay. <laughs> Growing. I think I should give her my blankie to help wake up. Why, Annie, what are you doing? It's a present, so when she wakes up, she'll play with it. You're a very kind little girl. You know that? Well, she's my little sister. Thank you. Mama, Mary Ann's little niece is five months old, too. She rolls around like a turtle. This one likes to sleep. She hasn't given us one bad night since she was born. You should be grateful. I guess so. All babies are different. They's all different. Even the landing knows. By the time she wakes up, is the nurse. She can't even walk over yet. She's not nearly as far along as the rest of them are. I'll we'll take her to the doctor.
Well, I don't know. I'd like a friend of mine to take a look at Brenda Kay, Dr. Floyd Basket. He is the best baby specialist in the South. You just examined him. What's wrong with him? Well, I'm not ducking your question, but I don't want to guess. Go ahead and guess, doctor. No, I will not. Look, I'm a small town doctor, Mr. Hilburn, and what this little girl needs is, is someone better prepared to, to say what's wrong. She's, she's gonna be all right, isn't she? I'm sure she will. Now, Dr. Basket was my teacher. He's in New Orleans, but I'm sure he'll come up and see Brenda Kay as a favor if I ask him. Thank you. It'll be fine. Thank you, Doctor. Well, now, Dr. Baudry tells me I need to have a look-see at this baby. Yes, sir. Ma'am. You can take her now. It's okay. It's my little girl. What I have to tell you is not easy to hear, but necessary. Hands. Our hands tell us much. Brenda Kay's hands do too. They tell us that we can't always depend on nature. Sometimes things go wrong. Brenda Kay is a Mongolian idiot. What's that? What do you mean? It means she is mentally and physically retarded. She'll never progress much beyond where she is right now. Flat, broad hands. Smaller toes drastically curved in, eyes slanting upwards. Extreme case. And so it's, it's very hard for me to tell you this. She's unlikely to live past two years. <laughs> it was a difficult birth. She's a, a breech baby. That's why her face looks like this. That's why she's not right. That's right. No, Miss Hilburn. Yes. One thing we know about this condition is that it's present at conception. I have to tell you that the best thing you can do is give her up to an institution. She'll be a huge burden on you and you have four other children to consider. Institution? An institution will know how to care for her and tend to her. That's not right. 
Fix you some nice hot soup, Miss Jewel. Come on now, you gotta eat something to keep the strength. Extra savor to help you, child. Surely carry you through. Jewel? It's Dr. Bouldry. You knew, didn't you? And you didn't have the guts to tell me. Come here to take away my baby. You can just head on out right now. If you want to keep this baby, Dr. Basket and I want you to know that we will help you whatever ways we can. What ways might those be? Well, I'd like to see her every month, Dr. Basket every three months. And there are injections we can give her, calcium gluconate to strengthen her bones. See, one of the problems with the Mongolian idiot what? is that... you ever... Say those words in front of me again. Do you dare? Children of this nature have very soft bones. The shots will help every six weeks. All right. But these shots aren't cheap. I mean, we're going to have to talk about how much they cost. No, <laughs> we do not. We'll do whatever has to be done. All right. Thank you, Doctor. List. Mm -hmm. We can beat this. We can fix it. We can if we just love her enough. Those bone injections hurt little Brenda Kay bad. But I was bound and determined she wasn't going to die before she was two, the way they said she would. And she didn't die. She hung on. So we paid for the shots for years. Leston had no work when the war ended, and money was really tight. Raylene left school and took a job, and the young and sold vegetables we grew. I took in sewing, and I looked after Brenda Kay. She was slow to crawl. She didn't lift her head till she was one year old. Didn't walk until she was four. And every minute of every year, I had to be there to change her bathe her, feed her by hand, rock her when she screamed. There was no let up, ever. <laughs> Two, three. Can you take another big step? Let me bring it back. One. Two. Come on. One. Two. that child to do something she can't do, Miss Jewel. She's gonna walk, and she's gonna run. I promise. Just takes a little time. The son's been playing football on the football field for almost a year, and you ain't seen near one of them, not one. When Leston goes, I'm just a little tired. You wanna walk again? The cathedral? You watch. Let's take a step. Let's take a step. One. Take a step for me. One, two. What had I done wrong to produce this different little girl? I wanted to make things right. Most of all, I wanted her to feel loved. And she did. I know. 
But it was five years before she took her first step and said her first word. Mama? Daddy! Say, Mama. Vindicate. Mama. Mama. Mama! Mama! <laughs> you did it! When most kids are seven years old, they're going into the second grade. When Brenda Kay was seven, she walked down the stairs for the first time. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What is the time? Okay, good girl. You're doing it, honey. Good. Okay, slowly. Okay. <laughs> That calls for a celebration. Yeah. How about a picnic on Saturday? Let's have chicken, Aye. fried chicken, potato salad, maybe Cathedral will make us some of her cookies. Wow, <laughs> Mama, really? <laughs> <laughs> Your bus is here, babies. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Cathedral, I'm leaving for work. Oh, Miss Jewel, your magazine come. Good. Can I borrow one of your hairpins? Oh, yes, of course. This one big now? That's great. I saved the last magazine for you. Oh, thank you. I really shouldn't get them. Such an extravagance. Well, now, well, now, have you said anything wrong about those magazines? You taught me how to read with those. And now I'm teaching Sepulchre, my youngest. Did you know that? Oh, Miss Jew, I am so proud of him. He is such a good study. Well, I think about how little I pay you. Well, now you go on. Hard as you work. You're allowed to do something for yourself. Well, if Leston and your Nelson can pick firewood, I guess I can wait tables. <laughs> Let's go on. Brenda Kay and me, we're going to make her favorite oatmeal for lunch today. See you later. God bless. Hmm. Leston. Mm -hmm. It says here there's a special school for children like Brenda Kay. Raises their IQ. It's like a miracle, it says. Ain't no miracles outside the Bible, Miss Jo. There's, there's an address to write to. Oh, imagine if she could go to a place like that. The nearest thing to a miracle has been able to stop them bone shots last year. Of course, we'd already gone broke paying for them. Leston. Oh, I've got no regrets. None at all. This picnic you're having on Saturday? Mm -hmm. I figured we'd rent a boat from old man Jason on the lake. What about the money? I got a few cents raised. Just a few. Children are like that. Well, you and me could take a ride. It's you and me, like old times. Not like before we were married. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mr. Hilbert, how have you been? Why? Just fine, Miss Jo. All the better for being here with you. I don't know when we were last on our own together. Seems like it never happens. Well, we're here now. Out on the peaceful water. Under the peaceful willow. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I think we could do better by our family. How so? I have an idea that we ought to think on moving from here, from Mississippi. We move to New Orleans? Driving down there every few weeks to see a doctor don't mean we necessarily have to move there. No, not New Orleans, but somewhere there's a an opportunity for things. What things? Uh, good care. Special school for Brenda Kay. Jobs, too. Good jobs. Who put these big ideas into your head? No one. That magazine article. That school in California. This family. Los Angeles. Now Pete Jackson's going with me. We bought no pickup between us and we're almost done fixing it up. Did your mother put you up to this? No. I, I'm, I may have mentioned the school, but. It's my idea. There's jobs out there, Daddy. I do well, I know it. Send money home. But what if I say no? I'm 18 years old, Daddy. I'm old enough to be in the army, I'm old enough to drink. It wasn't me. I didn't know he was planning to leave. Ten men I had working for me once. I always figured my boys would follow me into the business. Now it's all gone. Times are hard for everyone, honey. It's from Burton. Burton. Oh, his card. Oh, Annie. Oh, okay, it's her, it's her, it's her. This time it's mom and daddy's turn. Things are just fine. Love, Burton. Oh, oh mama, look. Oh, oh my. Let's see. Nice. Oh, it's not. Oh, mom. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is the present your brother Bert sends your daddy all the way from Los Angeles, California. Mm, somebody found out. 
Your mama is real proud of them cards from her boy. Your brother Burton is a good boy. He remembers everybody, and he lets us all know that he's thinking about us all the time. Take care of those scratching now, Brenda Kent. Can't believe how this tune just grown. It seemed like just the other day. House full of babies all over the place now. Well, Healing up nicely now, ain't she? Yeah. Dr. Baudry says she's gonna be fine. Would you look at this dress, Annie? I don't think she's gonna be wearing this too much longer. Well, Brenda Kay's gonna be wearing it soon. Oh, Lord. Where's she gone to now? Brenda Kay? Brenda Kay? Brenda Kay? Women, Brenda Kay's gone missing. Go look out back, okay? Oh, Mom, I gotta meet Charlie. You just go look. Brenda Kay! Brenda Kay! Just go off like that. What's the matter with you? And look at your clothes, they're all wet. You don't know, do you? I'm just worried about you. I love you. I love you too. Okay, you go on in and get your clothes dry. Go into the cathedral. You're a good boy, Wilma. She just walked and walked. If I'd have been following her, she just would have drowned in that swamp. <sighs> Scary. What's going to become of her, Mama? Sweetheart, don't worry. We go. I'll just love her enough. She's going to be just fine. Uh, you're all wet. Go change your clothes and go meet your friend. Have some fun. <laughs>
Cedar, guess what? I've given up my sewing job. I shan't need you to watch over Brenda Kay anymore. You can't give up that job, Miss Jewel. You need the money. Well, I got a letter. They have a place for Brenda Kay. That special school in California. One for exceptional children. Exceptional. You hear that? Not wonderful? You taking her child to California? Yeah, I guess. Mr. Lester know that? Not yet. Lord is trying his best to smile down on you, Miss June. You just won't let him do that, will you? Is that what it is, smiling? Sure. What's God is smiling on you, child? Well, I think you and I have different ideas about God, Cathedral. I think you need to go back to your Bible and read Job. Hmm? God gives us all burdens. You're carrying yours like it's a cross. It ain't. It's just God's will. God's will. You think God was smiling on Brenda Kay when he let her get burned? It was his grace that kept this house from burning down. Yeah, with you watching. You can't change that baby, Miss Jewel. Whatever you do, wherever you go, you can't change it. She's the way God made her. And you're just gonna have to love her that way. You know nothing. What are you doing up? What is it? The clock. My mother and stepfather gave us that clock as a wedding gift. They're dead now. At least tell me how much you got for it. Oh. I don't want you to think that... How much? $12. So the clock, the two vases, the rocking chair, all the pickle and cone, all the boys' old things. Anything else I'm missing? My gold cross necklace. Come outside with me. figure I can't see what the hell is going on around here. All your sales for your stupid dream of going to sunny California. How much you got? About $73. That's more than I figured. Headed about 65. You must be holding out on me. I sold that hat that Burton gave me. Six dollars. Not a word to me. You want to shut me out of your life? No. Then what? You wouldn't listen. I wouldn't listen? Did you talk to me? Or just to yourself? Pastor, I'm uh, sorry. You want to sell everything. Everything we own. Well, there are two things you can't sell. Unless I say so. One is this lighter my boy gave me. And the other is this place. This place that I built. 
for us. It's what you want to do, isn't it? You want to sell this place, this house, this land? Yes. I want us to give Brenda Kay a chance for a proper life. The way she is, that's our doing. We have to make her better. been thinking, Jewel. So I'll make a bargain with you. We'll go. I'll put this place in the market and we'll go. Maybe Burton is right. Maybe I will find some work in California. That's true. But we will come back here someday. That's my bargain with you. You remember it. And this, Miss Jewel, this you will not sell. This will always be mine. Before y'all go out, I want to tell you that your mama and I decided that the family's going to move to California. California? That's that is right. wonderful. That's right. As soon as we possibly can. Well, for serious? That's right. Daddy. Well, how, how are we going to get there? Daddy. Sell up the house? Yes, we're going to California. You hear that? We're going to go to California. I know. <laughs> That's right. That's great news, Mama. I know how much you want to go. Aren't you excited? I got friends is all. I never thought of leaving here. Well, you make new friends. Yeah. I'd be happy. Oh, no. It's fine. 7,000, you ask? Yeah, that's right. Well, I'll give you 6,007 for house and land, cash. Crossing country in that junk heap truck of ours. Mr. Watch your mail. Well, pardon me, ma'am, but this is a 1951 cosmopolitan four door sedan, $1,600 at your service. Yeah. That's a lot of money. You're going to give me a hard time, Mr. Jewel? Or do you want to get to California one piece of night? <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey. 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 Daddy, whose car is that? It's ours. Just bought it. <laughs> you did not. I did. Beautiful. Mama, Daddy, you know Gower? Gower Cross? How are you, Mrs. Hilburn? Fine. Well, I hope y'all are here for supper. However, we're only having sandwiches because we're getting ready to go to California. <laughs> and, well, you're already wearing your California dress. Um, oh. <laughs> you're married? Elaine, I had no idea. I'm, you never said anything. Mama, you're always so busy with Brenda Kay. You got your hands full. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, you, you and Burton are just taking over your own lives. Well, it wasn't hard, Mama. I just got lucky, I guess, Mrs. Hillman. I must confess, I was kind of surprised when she said yes. <laughs> I'll take good care of your daughter, y'all can bet. Ain't no betting about it. You take good care of her now. Yes, sir. Congratulations. <gasps> Sweetheart. <gasps> Thank you, Daddy. Annie, Brenda Kay, this is your brother-in-law, Gower. Can you say hi? 
Hi, Annie. Hello, Brenda Kay. Oh, God, you're fat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we all doing standing here? Let's go inside. Should we say goodbye to the house? Bye-bye, how? Maybe we should say goodbye to Cathedral. Um, to your mama. Yes. Let's go. We're coming. go without saying goodbye to you. Well, goodbye. So we drove to California, thousands of miles, day after day, through prairie and desert and blazing heat, to find hope for Brenda Kay. Hand me that ice. There you go. Yes. They go for short names. Out here, you'll be Bill before you know it. He will not. <laughs> ah, mama. Oh, we missed you so much. Ah. Bert and Raylene's married. Got married three days before we left. No. Gower Cross from Jackson. You should have seen. Gower Cross. Gower Cross, Daddy. Why he ain't nothing but a skirt chasing little weasel. Are you hush now? He's married to your sister. That don't matter. What matters is you all made it. <laughs> Where's Brenda Kay? She's sleeping in the car. Oh, my goodness. Look how much she's grown. Oh, my goodness. Mama. Come here. Come here. Come here. Give me a kiss. Oh, you guys. I miss you. My baby. <laughs> the Institute for Children. Um, my name is Jewel Hilburn. I'd like to make an appointment. You offered my daughter, uh, Brenda Kay, a place at your school. Offered? Was this recently, ma'am? It was about six months ago, um, nine months. 
We had to move here from Mississippi. I have a letter. I am sure that if you bring the child in, Mr. White will see her Thursday the 28th at 10 a.m.? Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, we'll see you then. Okay, bye-bye. Brenda Kay. It's cool, honey. Come on. There's a new world here, and it's waiting for us. Give me a smile. I love you. I don't care. <laughs> Pretty girl. We have an appointment. Mrs. Hilbert? Welcome. Good morning. I'm May, Mr. White's assistant. And this must be Brenda Kay. I tree of Mama. Oh, no, not cathedral. She thinks you're cathedral, our house cleaning woman in Mississippi. She's also my friend. Well, come along in then. He's expecting you. Hi. That's it in a nutshell, Mrs. Hilburn. We test our children, then we find the right level for them to reach, and then we teach them. Can you teach Brenda Kai? Of course. She's clearly ready for it. Enroll her as soon as you can. How much will it cost? <laughs> you, uh, you pay what you can afford, that's all. That's all? It may not be very much. Public education is absolutely nothing for these children. So I do, with my associates. I had a little brother who was committed to a home when he was one month old. That's what we were told to do with Brenda Kai. It was a good place, but no one there ever understood how to keep that little spark in him alive. He lived there till he died at the age of 21. I've never forgotten that, so here I am. Thank you, Mr. Watt. Thank you very much. Brenda Kay, would you like to go and look at Mrs. Hamby's class? School. Like Wilma yeah. and Annie? Uh, be Annie. Yes. Let's see. And when they came to the corner of Beacon Street, there was the police car with four policemen that Clancy had sent from headquarters. Well, class, we have visitors. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hilburn, and this is Brenda K. Hilburn. Welcome, Brenda K. Seven years went by and suddenly it was the 60s. Brenda Kay stayed in school and her spark stayed alive, I guess. But that miracle I'd hoped for, it didn't happen. Even Mr. Nathan White's school couldn't raise her IQ. She was happy enough and Mr. White took me on as an assistant teacher. Leston went from truck driving to being head of maintenance at a city college. Burton was married, had a baby. Annie got engaged to a policeman who wrote her a ticket and then asked her for a date. And Brenda K. Hilburn. She was 16 years old, but only in body. Jimmy, you go over to the painting table. Laura, come over here. Cindy. Brandy, you want to sit over there? And where's Brenda K.? And Dennis. Oh, Lord. Mike. Brenda K. Brenda K. Brenda Kay, so. stop that, you two. Go on, go sit down. Go sit at the table. Dennis, you know we don't hold hands like that here. You want to sit over here? 
your time with that. One, two, three. Damn it. You want... Brenda Kay, I made those cookies just for you. If you don't want this cookie, I'll go ahead and have it. Thank you, Brenda Kay. Mr. Watt. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Well, go right ahead. I caught Dennis and Brenda Kay holding hands. Well, they're friends. They like each other. Yes, but they're also 16. Their bodies are changing. It makes me nervous. Well, holding hands is pretty innocent stuff. That's true, but... But she's your daughter and not mine. That's right. Yeah, I know. But she's getting older, Jewel. You're going to have to start thinking about the future. Now, there's a couple in Santa Barbara named Larry and Nancy Tyndall. They have a beautiful residential home, four or five girls, all with special needs, living together like a family. Brenda Kay has a family. Y'all keep an eye out there for Gene. He is not seeing this dress until <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Ow! Oh, Sarah, you stuck me. I'm sorry, Annie. Hey, Annie. Yeah. Gain some weight, huh? Y'all, you're never going to lose that. Mm, damn right we ain't. Bert, watch your mouth. Uncle Will, what are you doing? You're ruining her picture. Yes, I am. You know, your daughter weighs a ton. I'll put her down soon. No, she's all right. Hey, Annie. Yeah? This car just pulled up. Oh, my Lord, that's Jane. Oh, it's Jane. Yeah. Annie, careful. <laughs> Any word from Raylene and Mama Hilbert? She'll be here today, I hope. Call yesterday from someplace in the desert. Oh, that's a long ride with two kids. Oh, she wouldn't miss her little sister's wedding for anything. You know, Sarah, it's eight years since I saw her. Not your fault. She's in Mississippi, you're in California. Mama Hilbert. Hi, Jean. Your bride's in hiding. Oh, she better come out tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Jean! It's Jean! Mama, Jean! Yes, it's Jean. Brenda Kay, I brought you a present. Oh, my. Oh, my. Brenda Kay's got her very own transistor radio. Take cover. <laughs> you hold it that close, you, you want to turn it down like this. <laughs> oh, Jean, now look what you've done. That's beautiful. I'll see my grandchildren. Oh, yeah, okay. You too. Come on out now. Come on. Come on. Okay, Matthew, I want you to go over your Grandma Hilburn and I want you to give her a big hug, okay? You do that. Go on now. Matthew, I'm your grandma and I want you to know I love you very much. Come meet your grandma. Mm. Oh, Elaine. Please, don't, don't do this to Mom today, okay? You got your pretty no. dress on. Elaine, do not pitch a fit today. Ready, you no! Okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Mama. Elaine, come on. Elaine, you get out of this car right now, young lady. I have told you not to pitch a fit like this. I can't believe you're doing it right now. This is a fine way to meet your grandma. It's okay. Can I have a hug? Oh, pretty girl. Yeah, we'd have been here sooner if it weren't for the traffic. And we had to stop to put on our Sunday clothes. And don't you start with me, Matthew. Just you don't. We can do whatever we want. Papa told us so. Don't. Just don't. They're divorced. <sighs> what? <laughs> oh, Mama. It's two years. Honey, why didn't you tell me? Because I couldn't tell you, Mama. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
is that everything's gonna be all right because you're home now. <laughs> so don't you worry now, okay? Come on. Well, say hello to everyone. Annie! Oh, my come here, come here. Annie! <laughs> This is your Uncle Wilman. Hey, yeah, big fella. What's your name? He's Matthew. Here they all come. Are you ready? Oh, Uncle Wilman. Hey, y'all. You know Annie. Hello again. Wee, <laughs> Mama. I know she came to see us. Doesn't she look beautiful? This is your Aunt Brenda Kay. And this is Matthew and Elaine. Can you say hello, Brenda Kay? Hello. Bye, Mama. Bye. Oh, oh, yes. It's time for your bath. Um, we'll come back later for good night hugs. Come on, honey. Ray, Mama. Ray, I, I, know, Ray. I know. Raylene's going to be here in the morning. They're all going to be here. We'll come back later and say hello. Give everybody hugs. Come on, we have to take a bath. See you later. There are those little sandwiches Mom used to make on call trips. Little tuna sandwiches. Guess I don't make good tuna sandwiches. Here. You can have them. He left you? He left you. I told you Gower Cross was no good. I told you that! What are you doing? I told you so. I told you so. Good news travels real fast in this house, oh, don't it? Come on, I'm sorry, sis. I no, don't mean don't. anything by it. Yes, you right? did. You meant everything stop. by it. My life just isn't as perfect as y'all down here in California. Please, please, stop. Things. I didn't That's mean that. that. I did not that? mean Where's that. All right, shit. Bert, do you have a brain in that hand oh, of yours? Come on. Annie! Uh, where did you learn to do that? Hmm? Who taught you that? Dennis. Mm. Dennis. Mama, you better get out of here. Raylene's crying fit to burst. In a minute. Mama, all hell's breaking loose out here. Well, crying's good for you. I'll come out when I finish giving Brenda K a bath. Come on. Here they are. safely. We will. Bye. Have a happy time. Bye. 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 Annie is married now, Brandy Kay. She and Jean are gonna go and live in their own house now. Bye. Let's go and eat some cake. Okay. I hope Annie has done better than I did, Mama. I wish you'd have told me and your father. Going through such misery all on your own. You got problems enough. I couldn't give you mine. Raylene, I'm your mother. You couldn't change things, Mama. I tried to make it work for years, but we fought from the beginning. He was always on the road, seeing old girlfriends, drinking heavy when he was home. Honey, I wish I'd been there for you. In the end, we had one real big fight, and he walked out. And I thought that, um, that maybe we'd move out here. Yes. And stay with us. We'll make room. Yes. <laughs> oh, my baby. We can take our time driving. Stay a month or so. <laughs> Why are we going? It's home. It used to be. Well, according to me, it'll always be home. And I want us to buy a house there. Do you want to live there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? Are you joking on me, Leslie? Listen, honey, we ain't getting any younger. Annie is married now. We got no responsibilities except Brenda Kay. I want to go back there. I want to end my day sitting on a porch, fishing in the river. You can't just take Brenda Kay out of school. Well, you're the one that teaches her letters. And you can do that anywhere. 
Besides, she's almost finished at school. Raylene's gonna move here. Maybe she'll change her mind. Look, I, I got a local paper with the real estate ads. We could live in a palace down there with what we're gonna make out of this house. I marked some. Here, take a look. Sure got a nerve making plans for our family. Who do you think you are? I'm the one who's raised Brenda Kay every day of her life. I'm the one who works at a school for retarded children. I'm not retiring. You talking to me of nerve, Mr. Stewart? Selling off our house bit by bit? Selling a clock off a wall with no one's blessing but your own? Now, I have been here 10 years for you. You railroaded me into this place. And I've stayed 10 years. Well, I've had enough. And that was our bargain. Remember. You are still my wife. Okay. Mama, I hate this. I've been back for half a day and already you're leaving. It's only for a month, honey. Well, it's not safe out there with all this stuff going on. The freedom marches, bus rides, the clans stirring things up. Oh, that's not gonna touch us. There's poor crackers looking for a bayou. Here's a neck tree. Bye, Mama. Daddy. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Raylene and the kids will have the house to themselves. I think that's good. She's had a rough time. You keep an eye on everything for me, Annie? I will. Y'all be good. We will. Use this napkin, Brenda Kay. Mama, Brenda Kay is fine. Right now it's me you're talking to. I know that, honey. To the backwoods of Mississippi, Fanny Annie. Just as long as you come back now. <laughs> you Bye. be good. We will. Bye. Looks like the whole thing's about to fall down. Mm-hmm. Since nobody's lived here for a while, I wonder if the old man still owns it. I'm gonna have a look at the old barn. Brandy Kay, wanna come and have a look at the old barn with me? Come on. Do what your daddy says. Just growing older in the Lord. How are you doing yourselves? Just fine. We're just visiting some old homes. <laughs> you bring along your beautiful daughter, Mrs. Brenda Kay? Mm-hmm. She's asleep in the car. Bless her heart. <laughs> you come here looking for comfort. Go home. Tea, go. We ain't got no comfort here.
Come here. Say hello to Nelson. You remember Nelson? I? Are you? My grown up. Look at you. Beautiful. We lost our boy. Sapper. Rest you. Dear. A year and five months gone now. Killed in a ditch. But teaching people how to read in a place where nobody wants them to read. <laughs> you taught me how to read. And I taught him. So there is sorry cathedral. All these years I've been planning to slap you back with this hand of mine. Is that all you do, Miss Jo? All of them. They all lie. Even that that baby girl what brought you such hardships and tests in this world. She's alive, huh? Yes. But I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to teach her to read. Please forgive me, Cathedral. Please. Wish me well. The Lord wishes, wishes it's all well, Miss Jill. He does. What was going to happen to my baby here in Mississippi? However hard she tried, she couldn't do a thing for herself. Leston had this dream of spending his days fishing relaxing back in our old home. But that wasn't any good for her, and not for us either. She's asleep. I've changed my mind about moving back here. But if we stay in California, there is something we got to think about. What is that? Well, we got to think about Brenda Kay's future. She's been relying on you so much. What's going to happen if we die? Well, the children will look after her. Is that what you want? You want them looking after her when she's 20, 30, 40 and still with the, with the mind of a six-year-old? What is it you want, then? You want to just shut her away? Do what the doctor said? She's a Mongolian idiot, put her in an institution. Is that what you want, then? Cool down. I just want you to think about it. Talk to Mr. White. Brenda Kay, she's, she's like a bird with a broken wing, and you've been caring for her so long, you haven't thought that maybe she can fly. Hello? Annie, what, what are you doing calling us here? What's the matter? Who is it? It's Annie. What? She... What? Oh, my Lord. Okay, um, we're gonna leave here as fast as we can, and you just watch over her, okay? All right, I love you, Bob. What's wrong? 
And they tried to kill us soon. What? You go help Elaine. Raylene must have been in such despair. She'd swallowed a bottle of pills. They found her in time, thank God. Gradually, we got her back to normal life. She had a lot of courage. I'm so sorry, Mama. Oh, no, honey, they're fine. Thanks to you and everybody. Well, that's what families are for. You seeing Dr. Lafferty today? Straight after work, and then I've got class tonight right after college. Honey, I hope you're not doing too much. Oh, no, Mama. I'm doing great. Really, truly. Really? Oh, go on. Okay. I love you. I love you. She'll be back. Listen, Mama. Honey, it's a little bit too loud. Let me fix it. That's better. Mm. Good today, Mama. No, honey. Remember, I told you we don't go anymore. You're too old. We just go to visit. You have trouble figuring that out, don't you? Sweet girl. Hey, Mama. Oh, we're going to play some frisbee. Oh, no, Brenda Kay doesn't like Frisbee, honey. What about you, Mama? Come on, we'll be fun. No. <laughs> I'm going to stay here with Brenda Kay. Oh, Mama. You go on. Have fun. Well, suit yourself. Okay. It starts just like a B, but it goes straight down. It's an R. Second letter in your name, Brenda Kay. So you can write your name. Okay, let's try one. You try this one. Just let it start like a B. Round. Straight down. No, Mama, yes. no! You almost had it. No! Okay, okay. Right, let's just forget. Hey, y'all. We brought supper, and Jean and Burton are on their way up from work. Annie made a huge lasagna, and there is salad and brownies. I promised Brenda Kay fried chicken for supper. Well, that's no problem. We'll just fix her up some fried chicken then. And I'm going to put this in the up. And you just stay here and call out. Be right back. Mama, please, call. OK, your call. sweater is on the back of your Mama, chair. Mama, can you just make sure Julie doesn't yeah. eat those crayons? On the back She's of your chair. She's that lately. Call. Just get your sweater. Okay, it's so sad. <laughs> Mama, she can do that herself. Can't you even look after the kids for two minutes without tending to Brenda Kay? Cold. You know, all of our lives it's been like this. Ever since she was born, you've had no time for us, no time for Daddy. You've just been set on doing every little thing for Brenda Kay. She always comes first. It has always been, children, if we just love her enough, we can fix everything. And that's true. No, it's not. Never fix Brenda Kay, Mama. She isn't fixable. I can't believe you're talking like this. You were a much kinder person when you were little. When you gave her your beloved blanket. Mom, we all love Brenda Kay. We love her dearly. But we love our mom too, and we need her. We need you. Not as much as Brenda Kay does. No. What about Raylene and her kids? Brenda Kay will never be in that dark pit that, that Raylene's been in. Brenda Kay is my baby. Look at her. She always will be. No, Mama. She's not your baby. Brenda Kay is your 16-year-old Down syndrome daughter, and she needs a life of her own! Don't! going on? Nothing! Oh, damn it. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. It's true! Everything she said is true! 
They're not. They're not. They're not. Mama. Some friend of Kay. He doesn't do She knows I'll come running. Mama. I always have. But I don't have to. Because she's safe. And she's people all around her. It doesn't have to be me. That's right. No. That's right. It doesn't no. have to be you. Oh. Listen. What have I done to you all these years? I'm sorry. I ain't done nothing that didn't come out of love. Oh. Home. Jewel, you know what being a parent is. You raise your child as best you can, and then when he's grown, you end up having to let him or her go. That's true, but I never thought like that about Brenda Kay. She's different. I have known so many dedicated parents like you who spend their entire lives looking after their Down syndrome child, supplying their every need. But the day always comes when the parents are either too old or too ill, and then they suddenly disappear, and the child is devastating, defenseless. Brenda Kay needs defenses, Joel. And you can give her them. By letting her go. Think of it more as sharing her. Letting other people in. Last place. No quiet. You can hear the birds. What do you say, Brenda Kai? Cool? No, it's a home. Let's take a look. Trip? Yes, it was a very nice drive. Come and meet Nancy. She'll be real glad you're here. Nance, mm -hmm. the Hilburns are here. Oh, <laughs> welcome, welcome, Mrs. Hilburn. Hello, Mr. Hilburn. Mrs. Tindall. This is Brenda Kai. Hello, Brenda K. Hilburn. She's shy with strangers. Oh, well, we've got lunch coming up. Well, Larry, honey, why don't you go round up the rest of the girls? Yeah. Are you hungry, Brenda Kay? <laughs> Good. I have to tell you, they start calling this place home pretty quickly. <laughs> of course, that just means they have two homes. Are any fish in that pond out there? <laughs> it started out as a wading pool, but when Larry got it all finished, not one girl would dare put a toe in it. And one of them hollered out, fishing! <laughs> so what could he do? He stocked it with little rainbow trout. <laughs> do they eat the fish? Not a one. <laughs> they just love to stand out there with their rods twice a day. And we even have a heck of a job getting them to eat fish sticks. Fish is. <laughs> they heard you. Now you've done it. <laughs> no fishing yet. Line up now. Come on, girls. Thank Come you on. for that, Nancy. Oh, you're welcome, Rachel. <laughs> Olivia, thank you for lunch. You're welcome, Olivia. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Nancy. You're welcome, Sammy. I love you, Nancy. I love you too, Sammy. Wow. Ho. Ho. Sammy. Let's go along with Larry now, okay? Thank you for lunch. Oh, you're welcome. And you're all you're the welcome. rest of us, thank you for lunch too, Nancy. Let's go fishing, girls. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Brenda Kay? She doesn't understand. 
Brenda Kay. It's okay. Thanks for lunch. You're welcome, Brenda Kay. There she was, that baby I'd carried her entire life, my hardship, my test, and the hardest test of all was to let her go, to give her a life of her own, to know she's happy, not just when I'm with her, but when I'm not. She is happy. That's her great gift, and the gift she gives to the world, she and all the children like her. Brenda Kay? B, Daddy! Look! B! Mama, B! Oh, that's very good. Very good. <laughs> we'll see you later. I'm going to take this with me. <laughs> Here's someone that belongs to you. <laughs> bird! Pretty bird! Pretty bird. We're going now. And you're... You're staying here. We'll be back on Saturday. I love you, baby. You be good now. See, see you sat there. I love you, Mama. You be good. Brenda K. Hilburn, my hardship, my test. And the way God smiled down on me, too.